Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Daily Motion, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Friday, March 13th, 2015, around 7.47 in the morning. Happy Friday the 13th, Facebook, YouTube, Daily Motion, and Twitter. Hope you don't have bad luck today. Some news to report, the Boston Bruins beat the... Tampa Bay Lightning by the score three to two in a shootout, which is good, pretty good. They finally won a shootout game for once, and the Bruins extend their point lead over the Florida Panthers and Ottawa Senators by eight points. Pretty good, and the Bruins are only two points out of the first wild card spot with the Washington to Capitals. That's pretty good. Hopefully, the Bruins continue to win games, but it's been so hot and cold for the Bruins. I wouldn't be surprised if they go on another losing streak and. They don't need to another looting streak right now because if Ottawa or Florida get hot, then the Bruins could be in serious trouble. And also, Ken Hiscott, coach of the St. Louis Blues, joined the 700 Club last night. Not a television religious show. He becomes one of the few NHL coaches to win 700 games as the St. Louis Blues beat the uh, Philadelphia Flyers in a shootout by a score of one to nothing. And the Blues are now in first place in the Central Division. And I think the Blues, Blues are going to go take over that the division lead for the Central Division and get the top, top one division so they could avoid pl playing the Chicago Blackhawks in the first round. And I think the Blues this year could be a surprise team maybe to to represent the Western Conference in the NHL. We'll wait and see. And it's going to be a nice and sunny day today. Highs 40, seasonably cold. And that's about it. My first video subject of the day is about the Lower Regional Transit Authority bus route 12 that goes from Kennedy Center in Low at, at Galga Terminal, the MBTA commuter rail stop, to Wilmington commuter rail stop. In Wilmington, Massachusetts, the bus is signed Tuxbury via Route 38. And the bus route starts at the Kennedy Center and it goes out of the Kennedy Center and like makes a couple of turns and turns right onto YMCA Drive. The Greater Lower YMCA is on the left and then goes on Thorndike Street, which is Route 3A. Briefly goes on to Route 3A and then go up a ramp and then they turn right. That's Appleton Street, Route 110. It goes about a half mile on Appleton Street. Then it goes over Gorm Street and near downtown Lowell. And then that's still 110, but it turns into Church Street. There's a, a plaza on the right, which has like a, a international foods thing and a Brooks Pharmacy and a couple of other stuff. And it continues on, goes over the Concord River, and it's Andover Street, then it takes a right, that's High Street, goes on to High Street for about a third of a mile, which is a residential neighborhood, and takes a left, that's Rogers Street, it goes by Shed Park, and it turns into 38, eight, and it goes, continues on, there's a Wendy's and the Dunkin' Donuts on uh, the right, and then on the left, they go by a car dealership, and then on the right, it's it's a, a Hannaford supermarket. Then it goes into Tuxbury, and they take a left, and then they the bus goes to Stadium Plaza, which has a market basket, a Marshalls, a Kmart, and a few other things that used to have a Staples, but the Staples is no longer there. And it turns back onto 38, and it continues on, goes underneath 495, then they pass by a Home Depot, an Applebee's, a Burger King, an IHOP, Motel 6, goes up, it goes over a railroad bridge and stuff, and then take a right, and that's um, Walmart Superstore, a lot of customers get on and off at there to shop at Walmart, and, Wal and it continues on to Route 38 in Tuxbury, which is Main Street, goes by a 99s, a Dunkin' Donuts. On the left-hand side, there's going to be the former motel, which now they're going to make a bowling alley, which is going to open up in um, some, of, some of this year, and then goes by um, Ocean State Job Lots Plaza, which at one time the Ocean State Job Lots used to be a Purity Supreme supermarket also in that plaza. It's Papa Gino's and a Skybox um, 
restaurant, which they have Kino there. And on the left, there used to be a gold gym, but that's closed down because of not too much business. Goes underneath power wires and stuff and goes by into Tooks, continues on Main Street in Tooksbury. There's some empty buildings in Tooksbury and stuff. A future video blog will talk about that. Can, some of one of those used to be an old friendlies and an old wiki cheesy pizza. Then it goes to kind of into Tuxbury Center, then takes a left. That's East Street, and eat they go by half mile on East Street, which has a has like a cemetery and some ball fields and stuff. And then it takes uh, goes up a road that goes to Tuxbury State Hospital. You continue to follow that road, it will you go past the market basket, warehouse, and that's a, that's a way to get to 93, which you could get on exit 42, which is Dascom Road and Andover and Tuxbury, but the bus doesn't go down there. And the bus continues on and it goes to a couple of roads and then it stops at Tuxbury State Hospital. Then it gets out of Tuxbury State Hospital, takes roads, which is unnamed, goes by some fields onto Levis, Livestein Street, and you can see ball fields and stuff, and cricket fields where they play cricket, and they continue on, and they go by a couple of buildings where there's a Planet Fitness and stuff, and there's the Tuxbury Country Club, which at one time that used to be the airport in Tuxbury, we could fly small planes that took about the airport closed down years ago, and they converted those over to Tuxbury country club and some condos and developments and it goes back onto Main Street and Route 38 and then people could get off there because there's a slow shopping plaza there which is basically empty now they just have a advanced auto body parts and a buffet if you walk a little further you could go to John Lyons and Tuxbury and if you walk about a quarter of a mile you could go to TJ Callahan's which is a great restaurant which has Kino but you know the bus doesn't serve there but it's good to walk there and it goes by a Burger King, and on the left-hand side is a market basket, and a CVS, and Papa Gino's. At one time, they used to be a home goods, but the home goods has closed down. And it goes past by Shawshin Road. At one time, the bus would go down Shawshin Road to serve, to do, um, to serve customers, uh, pa passengers, and West, West Hooksbury go on Whipple Street, briefly goes into went into Bell Echo about 2005 when they reconfigured the bus route. They eliminated that, that section of Route 12 because the, not too many passengers were going on and off and it, would, and it added about maybe 10 minutes to the trip. And it was not necessary. No loss there. Continues on Route 38 in Tuxbury, goes over Shawshin River, goes by more businesses and stuff. Some of them are empty, some of them are in, in, in use and stuff, and continues on. It goes by Walgreens and stuff, South Street, by a fire station, and goes into Wilmington, and then they go by Silver Lake and stuff, and then they go past Rocco's restaurant and on the left hand side there's a light aid and there's a road that goes to the street arena which the Boston Bruins practice there but this this upcoming year is going to be the last year they practice at West DTO because they're moving up the new Brighton built the new balance building area of Brighton and then it continues on through 38 they merge with 129 take a light on 129 you could go to Wilmington and Bellica, and then it passes by the Wilmington Crossroads Plaza, which has a Dollar Tree store and a Chinese restaurant and Chili's, and they used to have a Staples, but Staples no longer there. On the left hand side is Market Basket and TJ Maxx and Olympia Sports and Panera Bread and others. Continues on, goes by a Dunkin' Donuts, a Walgreens, and and goes over a the Wildcat branch of the MBTA, which connects connects the Eastern Division and the Western Division of the Old Boston and Main Railroad, but it connects the Lower Line with the Haver Wedding Line. A few MBTA commuter rail trains use that line every day, plus the the Amtrak down east uh, uses that Wildcat rant run of the train and it terminates at Wilmington train station MBTA commuter rail 
and it's about 45 minutes from Lowell to Wilmington by bus. And this is a very popular bus route. Originally, the, the bus route ended terminated at the Tewksbury Wilmington line, but a lot of um, commuter rail passengers got off at Wilmington and they had to take taxis to the Tewksbury State Hospital. And when the LRTA heard about a lot of um, customers using the Wilmington train station, using them, um, a taxi service which sometimes a taxi is 20 to 40 bucks they said they expected the bus route down there so those pa passengers could save a lot of money because it's only a buck 50 to take a bus from um, Wilmington to Tuxbury Hospital and this bus route is a kind of a scenic one for for seeing like stuff in Tuxbury with the fields and stuff and also route 38 which is, you know, kind of in a deplorable condition. And future video blog, it's going to be mentioned that the improvements of Route 38 in Tewksbury. And also, a lot of people use this bus to go shopping at the Stadium Plaza and Tewksbury Lowell Line and Walmart. And it's a real popular bus route. I've taken this bus route many times, bus 12, to go into Tewksbury, maybe to have lunch at the Skybox or John Ryan's or whatever. And it's a great bus route, so if you're in the Lowell area, I recommend you take bus 12. And I love doing these bus routes for the MBTA and uh, Lowell Regional Transit Authority. There'll be more of these bus routes in future blogs, but with the with like the March Madness tournament happening, some of these video blogs I have planned might be put on the back burner for right now. That's about it on that. Be back later on Facebook, Friends, YouTube, Paul, Daily Motion, Twitter. Two more video blogs. One will be about the 1971 musical fantasy children's movie, Willy Walker and the Chocolate Factory. And the third and final video blog of Night Personality Profile will be about Al McGuire, Paul Basketball Hall of Fame coach, and former college basketball announcer on CBS and NBC. Have a good day, everybody. See ya tonight.